All right, welcome back to another episode of the Extreme Lifestyle Living Podcast. I'm your Thursday host, Emma. So for today's podcast, I wanted to kind of just break down what it is that I do on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, just to really make sure that I feel like I'm in control, feel like everything is planned out and feel like I have, I guess, some strategy in terms of my week, in terms of appointments, things I have to do for my clients, my work, social events, getting my workouts in, meal prepping, all that sort of stuff is something that sort of all comes together in one big plan, I guess I could say. And I use a few different tools and a few different resources to help me sort of stay on track, be as prepared as possible and to feel my best day in, day out, week in, week out. So that's what I'm going to do today is share with you a little bit of those tools that I like using, some of those routines and habits that I like doing. Um, and then hopefully you can get some value and some insight from this. Maybe check out a couple of these things that I mentioned that I use and see if maybe it's helpful for you. So let's get into it. First of all, like I'm very big on routines in general, like whether that's a morning routine, an evening routine, a routine around getting ready for your workouts, a routine at home. I'm just really big on those routines and they really make me feel my best. And I can definitely feel when I start to slip on some of those things where I feel a little bit more scatterbrained, maybe just a little bit more cluttered, I guess you could say mentally, and things just don't feel quite as clear as they would be if I was taking that time to really stick to those routines and kind of carve out those habits and stuff and really making sure I'm intentional with sticking to those things. And one of the biggest things for me is planning out my week. So obviously I work for myself. This is something that can be very stressful. And of course I have times where it is super stressful, but I've really gotten a good handle on my organization and my planning within the last, I would say year or so. I used to be one of those people who would just kind of like figure it out each morning type of thing where I just like write down a huge list of stuff and I just be like, all right, like this is what I'm going to try to get done today. And that wasn't always effective. I would say I was good at knocking off a few things on that list, but there was always things that got missed or left behind. And my main goal in this is to minimize those things that are falling through the cracks or getting left behind, or even just kind of being neglected that then lead to me not being my best, not being my best version and not feeling my best. I guess to start off, one of the main things I have to do is planning my workouts. So this is so crucial to me. I know at the beginning of the week, which days I'm working out, what time I'm working out, which days are my rest days. And then that really helps me to build my week and schedule things from there because my workouts are very important to me. So that's something that I need to make sure is one of those first things I schedule into my calendar on a weekly basis. So I literally put my workouts in now, obviously I use a training app as well. Like I have a coach, I use the training app too. So they are scheduled for me in my training app. But then I also take that one step further and I put them into my Notion calendar, which is my big broad calendar that I use every single day. So when I open that calendar, I already know which days of the week I'm working out. It's fairly consistent for me unless um, something kind of comes up or maybe uh, I just need to switch around my rest days, something like that. But typically it's very consistent for me. So I'll be planning out my five workouts in the gym. I'll be planning out my rest days. And then I sort of build my schedule for some of those things around that. Now, obviously I have daily tasks that I need to complete for my business. Now, in terms of doing that, what I found has been really helpful for me. I used to be one of those people that would just write on sticky notes, like everywhere and I'd have like 15,000 sticky notes. It's funny because if you were to see Trey's desk right now, (laughs) it's all written on with notes. But um, I started using a list, a task manager to help me with those daily tasks, those non-negotiables that I do every single day. Just having those in a list of something that's very visual that I can see and clicking off really helps me to just make sure I'm on track, make sure I'm keeping those things um, front of mind and they don't get missed. Things like doing my morning group chat message to my girls in my coaching community, things like posting on my social media, that sort of stuff is just some of those things that I need to do every single day that sometimes you don't always think about. It's almost starts to become second nature, but something that I still need to be intentional about because it can slip from time to time if I'm not on the ball with it. Now, I guess from workouts, we can go to nutrition because this is also a huge, huge thing. And this is something I really teach my clients to do is planning which days of the week you're going to be doing your meal prepping. Like, of course, you don't want to be cooking meals every single day. 
Um, most people don't like doing one big bulk meal prep on say Sunday and then eating those same foods all the way through till Friday. That's not really how I like to do it. That's not how most of my clients like to do it. So what we like to do, what I like to do is Sundays is typically our meal prep day. So we go get all of our groceries actually on Saturday because you ever find like you go and you're running all those errands, you're getting all the groceries and you're just kind of like drained from doing it, right? It can be difficult. It can be hard and just like mentally kind of challenging. So then the last thing you want to do sometimes is come home from that and then prep all of your food. So that's what we were doing. We were trying to cram everything in on Sundays and it just was giving us a little bit of resistance and extra stress that we didn't necessarily need. So we started getting our groceries the day before. So like that's our big task in terms of food prep that day is just getting the groceries, get that dealt with, get that handled. Because I mean, sometimes it involves like going to Walmart, going to Superstore, going to Sobeys, going to Kingswood. So it's like, sometimes it can be a lot. I get it for sure. And then that's usually a night. Sometimes Trey and I will have sort of, maybe we'll make like a nice meal together or maybe we'll treat ourselves and get a little something um, to have for a meal instead, which also helps to take that pressure off. But then once the next day ro rolls around, once Sunday comes, that's our meal prep day. So we're prepping all our meals on Sunday to make sure that we're set for the first couple days of the week. So those meals will usually carry us through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then Wednesday evening, we do another, like I call it a mini prep just to kind of get us through Thursday, Friday. And then usually we have one meal left over for Saturday and then back out to get the groceries again and back to that routine. But this is something that you do need to schedule because like I said, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes effort, it takes things from your cup for sure. Um, and like I said, it can be very draining. So it's something that I really need to be intentional about planning to make sure I stick to it because there's obviously been times where like we've missed it. Maybe we didn't get the groceries when we were supposed to, or we didn't prep the food the day we were supposed to. And then that next day you're, you're really feeling it because you don't have your meals prepared that you need to have. And it just kind of throws things off from there. So that's super huge for us. Meal prepping on Sundays and doing a mini meal prep on Wednesdays. Now, in terms of just general organization, I've mentioned my Notion calendar. Notion literally is like my biggest lifesaver. I use Notion for planning my podcast episodes, for planning my content on social media, um, for stuff to do with my clients, and just so many other things when it comes to business and all that type of stuff. Like I have a journal thing in there that I can use for daily journal prompts, like a brain dump where I can just dump different ideas. So Notion is a really a really good tool for me to use and works really well. It can integrate well with other um, apps and things like that that I use every day. And I just find it's a really nice layout of things. You can do calendars, you can do spreadsheets, tables, like all kinds of stuff. So there's just like so much good information in there and so much good things to set up for productivity and just organization and using my notion on a daily basis just really, really, really makes me feel my best. For example, at the beginning of the week, I'll pull up my content calendar and I'll plan out what my week is going to look like for content. What am I posting on what day? What does my messaging look like? What types of reels am I putting out? Am I doing branded content for Supplement King? Is it just my dups that I'm doing? What's that kind of look like? And that really helps me to plan things out and just feel like I have a good head on my shoulders. I can plan out when I'm recording, plan out when I'm posting and all those types of things. Now I've mentioned too, Notion also has a calendar built into it, which can integrate with your Google calendar as well. And, and also with your tasks that you use through Notion Task Manager. And this is so crucial to me because then I can pull up my calendar each morning when I'm doing my morning routine and look at everything that I have scheduled for that day, what my daily non-negotiables are, maybe what some of those extra things are that I have on the schedule for that day, what I need to post that day. And it just really makes me feel like sure and confident in my schedule for my week. And that's something that I need to update fairly often. Like things obviously don't always go to plan. So every couple days or every evening, I try to make sure I go into my notion and sort of make any tweaks and updates. Like maybe something didn't quite get finished um, the day that I had planned it to. So then sort of set that new plan and make sure that everything is accounted for and going to have actions taken with it. So notion is definitely something that really, really, really helps me plan my day, plan my week and just plan my life honestly. Um, so if you would like some more information about Notion, send me a little DM because I've got 
all kinds of tips, tricks, templates, all that sort of stuff. And I'd love to be able to help you with it if you think that that would be something that would be helpful for you in your life. I've also created meal planners through Notion as well, like a meal planner template. So some of my clients use that just to write out what they need to get for groceries on a weekly basis, what kind of meals they're planning on making. And that just really helps them stay on track and help them stay organized when it comes to their nutrition to make sure they're fueling their body and hitting their goals without having like too much extra resistance. I really like on YouTube setting, uh, you can search up study with me and then they're actually like time blocked work sessions where some of them, for example, 50 minutes. So you'll do a 50 minute work session and it's just kind of like an aesthetic sort of background and then it has the timer rate on it and then it has a built-in break. So I'll use those a lot during the day where I'm going to sit down and do some intentional work. I'll set it on my TV or put it on my laptop, whatever it is, and use it just as a way to really keep me focused and keep me on track. Then I guess my last point of what keeps me organized, keeps me feeling grounded and keeps me feeling sort of my best, I guess you could say, is making sure I stick to my morning and my evening routines. Waking up around the same time every day, going to bed at the same time every day, and just really making sure that I'm in the mornings limiting my phone use first thing in the morning, making sure I'm getting my water in, just having some time for myself, doing my journal, and like I said, going through my notion, planning out my day, and just making sure I have my head on my shoulders before I jump in and start getting into work or start getting into social media. Confession time, something I find I slip with when it comes to my morning routine is if I don't leave my phone in the bathroom slash not in the bed with me, if I wake up in the morning and my phone's in my bed with me, it is very, very, very hard for me not to just open my phone and start scrolling on social media or go into my training app and just see how the girls are doing in the community or check my text messages and that type of thing. So that's something I've really noticed for myself is like, if it's beside me when I wake up 99% of the time, I'm going to be grabbing it and using it, which is not what I want to be doing. So for me, that's something that I know that I need to, okay, if if that's not the behavior I want to be doing, then I need to make a change with it because what I had been doing wasn't working, obviously. It's kind of cool too. Like if you put your phone on its side when it's charging, it comes up with like this cool like LED colorful um, clock. And there's also like a calendar thing on it. You can swipe through and do all kinds of different stuff. But that is kind of cool. And like when I leave it in my bathroom, that's almost like my nightlight in my bathroom in the middle of the night. So then when I wake up to go use the washroom or anything, I don't need to flick on any lights or anything like that, wake myself up because I've got that little night light from my phone. So it's a little bit of an extra added benefit too. Morning routine, like I said, making sure I kind of have that time for me before I jump into things for everybody else and start serving my clients, start doing social media. If you're feeling like you're overwhelmed in your life and just kind of feeling like you're always running around, like I guess for lack of a better words, like a chicken with your head cut off. If you always feel like that, really take some time to sit down and think about like, do you have tools and plans and processes in place to make you feel organized and make you feel like you have a structure and make you feel like you're not going crazy all the time? Because it is so helpful when you have those sort of things in place and you really utilize those tools and are intentional with them because the clarity that I've gotten in my mindset from sticking to these things and I no longer wake up in the middle of the night with random ideas popping into my head or, oh, I should say this to this person or, oh, I should make content on that because because I'm getting all those things out and I'm writing them down and I'm like putting actions to them or at least just getting those ideas out of my head, those thoughts out of my head. So if you struggle, like I said, with feeling like you're not organized, that you kind of just don't have your head on your shoulders and you just kind of like go through the motions all the time. These are some things that I would definitely recommend that you take a look at, like take a look at your calendar, take a look at if you use a planner, a scheduler on a daily basis. Do you schedule your workouts? Do you schedule when you do your meal prepping, when you have appointments, when you have social events, all these types of things. These are little and small changes that you can implement and start doing that will make you feel that much better, that much clearer, that much more in control and that much more empowered in your everyday life. So like I said, I really hope that if you feel like you're a little bit lost, like you're lacking that structure and just that organization in your life, I hope that you found some of these tips and tricks and tools helpful for you. If you'd like any more information about like the study with me, the Notion, Notion calendar, the task manager, any of those sorts of things, send me a message, shoot me a little DM on Instagram, and I would be happy to help you, happy to show you kind of how they work and how I use them to help me. And then hopefully you can in turn get some benefit from that too. 
Well, that's it for this week's episode of the Extreme Lifestyle Living Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Thursday episode. Be sure to check out Trey's episodes every Monday, and I'll see you next Thursday. Uh, but you bet me in that corner and I'll let it blow. I got time today because boy, it ain't my time to go.